What's up everybody, Wilhelm here, bringing you a Atlas news development. Late last night, the developers took down the game for an emergency hot patch fix, and in this hot patch, they have done uh, quite a number of fixes, as well as taking some developer actions against some companies that were accused, as well as soft confirmed as the creation of this video for exploiting, and we'll go over what actions that the developers took against those companies. Before we do that, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing here is that they fixed a bug allowing items other than wood and thatch to be added to the farmhouse's inventory, which according to the devs led to some sort of exploit. I'm not exactly sure if this was or is a fix on a duplication glitch surrounding the farmhouses. The next one is, is that they fixed a bug making picking up stone farmhouses right after placing it. It gives you back a wooden version instead. This is the number one reported bug on the release of farmhouses whereby when you place down a regular stone farmhouse and then tried to pick it up because you didn't like the placement, it would turn into the wooden version. Moving on, they removed experience from crafting mortar and pedestals. So I wasn't exactly clear as to why they removed this, uh, some of the people on the Discord as well as Reddit and other social media platforms were saying that this quote experience method was circulated as a meme throughout a lot of the prominent discords for the larger companies and the developers took action on it. I'm not exactly sure whether or not this was a, an unintended way to level, but the fact remains that they removed the experience that you would have otherwise have gone for crafting mortar and pedestals. The experience drop from the Kraken has been completely removed. Some companies and players were using a technique called leeching, whereby a lot of players would be sitting on their boats waiting for the Kraken fight to be finished by another company, and then they would just get the experience for completing the fight itself, giving you a boost to your experience. What some more intelligent players would do is they would combine that with one of the accordion songs that would give you an experience boost, giving you about uh, 2300 experience per fight and effectively since there was no cap on how many players were in the area you could bring your entire company to the Kraken and leech off of it when the when other companies were completing it and effectively just have a passive way to level now in the discord this has gone over with a mixed review I'm perched on the fence on this on this one because I think that there should be an incentive for players and companies to go and grind the end game content just so that the content isn't dead and if that content incentive is experience, I'm perfectly fine with it as long as it's, you know, done in a balanced manner. And it, from what I could tell, it didn't seem like it was overly powerful. I guess that doesn't really matter. The developers have completely removed the experience from the Kraken fight altogether. We now have an update as well on Nature's Touch, which was a healing spell underneath the animal skill tree. Nature's Touch on a mount that has it will replace an existing Nature's Touch buff on that mount. So in the past, effectively what was happening is you could basically stack the healing buffs on some of the teams, which made them near unkillable for a certain period of time. So you can no longer stack those particular buffs on top of each other, which should actually change a little bit of the way that combat on land goes down. And we have another player level reduction all the way back down to 82. Just last week we had a reduction and now we're having a second one down to 82. Everybody's been rolled back to that, so if you grinded out a lot of those levels, unfortunately, you are now back down to level 82. I know that this particular point has been incredibly contested in the community Discord. A lot of people were pretty upset that they're going to have to re-level once again, and a lot of the player base has actually been claiming that, you know, why am I going to level? Why am I grinding in this game? If you're just going to reduce us back down to uh, whatever level that they want to do. I personally didn't really grind very much on the player level cap reduction. So this doesn't actually affect me personally, but I can definitely relate to some of the people that otherwise would have legit grinded out their levels. Overall, on this particular point, I'm going to probably, I'm going to be siding with the devs. I'm happy that they're taking action as to no action. So clearly the dev team thought that it was necessary to reduce everybody once again, and that some sort of form of exploit was being used to otherwise artificially boost players' abilities to gain levels. So clearly they saw the need to do this reduction. I don't think that they're taking these decisions lightly. However, it would go a long ways if they could actually put out something a little bit more than just patch notes of saying, hey, this is the new player level camp reduction. You know, maybe if they could go into a little bit more of the reasons as to why they were doing why they took this particular action, I personally am going to be siding with them and effectively put blind faith into the fact that they probably took this decision with a lot of care. 
and I'm definitely glad that they're taking action as opposed to not taking action, because otherwise we would have uh, entire companies that are max level. An item duplication exploit with bed travel has been fixed, including wearing multiple armor sets. So effectively, there was a exploit that has been leaked slash been going around thanks to a video that was posted to Reddit, whereby players would do whatever the exploit was, which, it, which kind of involved according to this, multiple armor sets as well as bed travels that would duplicate them onto your character so that the stats of multiple armor sets would be applied to your character. Uh, one of my sources within one of the wiped companies actually said that this particular bug when they tried, tried to engage with it wasn't really worth it because the time that it would take to execute the exploit wasn't necessarily worth the time because Regardless, you would still get one shot by a horse cart swivel on land combat, so having three sets of armor on your character sounds like it's a pretty huge advantage in it, and to be fair, it is, but in, this, in the sense that it could be easily countered by pretty much anybody with a swivel cart, it wasn't necessarily a tactic that a lot of these companies would deploy, but some, for a fact, definitely would. And it, it, it is an exploit, so supposedly, according to the developers, they fixed the armor stacking glitch, which is good. And finally, explosive barrel minimum detonation timer has changed to 6 seconds. Uh, <laughs> the barrels have always been a controversial implementation since, well, they first arrived in Atlas, so we have another barrel tweak. And that's going to conclude the hotfix emergency patch notes the developers put out last night. Let me know guys what you think about some of these exploits. Uh, some of the actions that they have taken I know have been incredibly controversial. Uh, I'm still of the position that this action is definitely needed if they want to foster a long-term community in Atlas, especially if they have some things that are cooking in the background that are going to add a lot of life and flavor. For example, and this may not be popular with the current Atlas player base, the developers are sitting with a decision whereby they either cater to the <laughs> to the existing player base, which mostly consists of the larger mega companies that have engaged with blatant abuse of in-game mechanics as well as exploits for effectively a number of years now, catering to those that group of people, or removing those gr that group of people in the hopes of getting a player base that would be hopefully larger. In the long term, I think that, you know, it's just a good decision for them to, if in fact the new development team and Grapeshot have a long term vision for the game. So, at the moment, if we look at the player count numbers, we're looking at less than 700 people total, at least on the NA PvP network, which will actually probably be reduced. I'm going to guess between 50 and 200 players are going to be removed from the PvP player network just because of the dev wipes that came in last night along with a lot of the exploit fixes. With all that said, that concludes my segment of the emergency patch notes hot fix release. Uh, from here you can go ahead and click off, but I'm going to be going ahead and covering some quote unofficial news, which is we do have some dev wipes that ended up coming in. According to Reddit, SDCTC, and Yudez lose season four. This has been upvoted 43 times in the last nine hours. Uh, another one that's saying rip SDC. And according to their members on the official community discord, they are saying that they've been soft wiped. So effectively they weren't completely dev wiped. Like for example, their company assets are still in the game. The islands are still claimed. However, all of the players within the company have been booted from the company from what appears to be an, an admin slash developer account that went in and removed everybody from the company. Members within CSTG as well as other companies have at this point also been removed from their companies but there is at this point in the creation of this video no word as to whether or not those companies have been completely quote soft dev wiped and there has been no confirmation from the developers that they themselves have taken this action so at this point it could be just wild speculation and the propaganda could be going on about some sort of crazy inside job but according to reddit according to the community discord as well as the members from these companies themselves they are confirming that they have been quote soft dev wiped whereby their player base has been ousted 
but their company assets still exist intact where they are, and that as of the creation of this video, there has been no official bans handed out to any specific player or player group. If you like Atlas videos, survival, news, drama, etc., I have been Wilhelm, and I would greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell, liking, and commenting down below, and I will see you next time.